Your local weather authority with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. The National Weather Service did issue a wind advisory. This goes in effect at 11 p.m. tonight until 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And as you can see, it does affect the entire Wabash Valley. Wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour can be expected overnight. So bring lighter objects indoors. And if you are operating a vehicle, definitely be careful tonight along with the storms. Here's a look right now out of our Graber Post buildings cam. So cloudy skies on it. Not a lot of sunshine seeping through at all. Temperatures, though, are rising. Temperatures really will be the only good story about today. 56 right now in Terre Haute, so we are above average. 53 in Mattoon. 51 in Paris, 53 in Robinson, and also 53 degrees down in Vincennes. Here's the strong system that will bring us storms later, possibly some severe as well. There is a tornado outbreak that is likely to happen in areas of Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. Not here, not completely impossible. There's just a 2 to 5% chance in areas across the valley, but some of the rain chances, rain showers, and thunderstorms are moving in right now. Here's what it looks like on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. So areas near Washington, and then areas south of Indianapolis and east of Bloomington, southeast of Bloomington, you can see those areas of heavier rain falling occurring now. So timing this out, this is about 3 p.m., so kind of lighter showers coming through at that point. The heavier rain will come through as we get to the overnight hours, though. So you can see here, this is 9 p.m. This is when storms look to be the strongest, though. Can't completely rule out a severe one as well. But then as we get to about 4 a.m., most of it travels northeastward as we get to that hour. And then as we get to 6 a.m., most of that does travel completely out of the valley. We are going to stay cloudy into the overnight hours. But then we do clear as we get into parts of Saturday, though. So we might see some sunshine then and temperatures clearing. You can see that. Not a whole lot of cloud coverage as we get into Saturday. The next chance for rain, though, after that does come as we get into Saturday evening. Just a couple of sprinkles can be expected through 5.30 p.m. Thursday. More of this will come after areas in red and purple, as you can see, out northwest of here. Those are the areas that, that we will see the heaviest rain, so near Champaign. Close to two inches there. I think these numbers are going to be a little higher than what they're actually at, though. Robinson closer to one inch, and then Terre Haute above an inch, and, or above half an inch. Winds are going to pick up with the low pressure as it spins this evening. So this is the low pressure system sitting north of here. Danville, 26 miles per hour. Terre Haute, 23. These are sustained, though, so Wind gusts are going to be even stronger than that. This is looking at 2.30 in the morning or just about 2.30 in the morning. And then winds will shift back out of the south. That's what's going to warm us into the mid-70s as we get into Saturday. And then behind that, they will die down just a little bit. But here's the severe risk. So this is marginal risk. They did upgrade this just a couple hours ago. Vermilion County, so halfway through it and south in the areas of the green. This is where one level one out of five when it comes to severe risk, marginal risk. So isolated severe storms are possible. And then southeast of here, so our southeast portions of our viewing area in the yellow. That's a two out of five when it comes to severe thunderstorm risk. So scattered severe thunderstorms are likely to happen there. But looking at the bigger picture areas of Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi, they're under a high risk. And a similar area just south of here eight days ago last Wednesday was also under a high risk. So tornadoes, possibly long-tracked and violent ones are possible there. Likely not to see a tornado in our area. Most of the things are going to be the big and gusty winds that we're going to see here, but not completely impossible. And then just southeast of our viewing area is an enhanced risk that's level three out of five. Here's the forecast though for today. So again, just be aware of the storms coming later this evening. Mostly cloudy skies, high close to 60 degrees. And then tonight, 45. Rain and some storms will carry us through the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, then completely cut off. Lindsay though, we're looking at a high in the mid-70s on Saturday. That's when the next chance for rain comes around during the evening though. Now 